So I'm gonna lead the UK to greatness in 2020. I know they have a lot of problems, but I'm here to fix it all. So we're playing this game called Democracy 4, and it's a pretty in-depth, like, political game. It's our job to change policies around, shift things. It's gonna get complicated, and I'm really good at handling complicated games. Just to show how democratic we are, the People's Republic of the United Kingdom, nothing more democratic. We're gonna ooze democracy. Good, it looks good. We're in charge of 63 million citizens in the UK. There are probably a lot of problems with our country. Let's just be real with that. I guess one of the biggest problems is obesity. Now the way this game works is we have other bubbles on the graph contributing to obesity. One is car usage, the other is GDP, unemployment, and then obesity is making health worse. As you can see, obesity is having a negative impact on health. So in order to fix obesity, we need to change something else that is having an impact. Maybe raise state health services? So I can increase government spending here, but obviously uh, that's at expense of the economy. And I don't even know how we're doing economically. What's going on? We're at $1.8 trillion in debt. Awesome. Now I could make a make higher taxes for junk food. That actually might not be a bad idea. Or healthy food subsidies. Dang, voters are not gonna like this, but let's do it anyways. Dude, we can get people to be healthier and get money for it? Let's go! Now I need to be careful implementing these, these policies that people don't like because uh, there's this whole like intelligence briefing thing. Basically people can assassinate me. Luckily I have a lot of uh, experience with people wanting to do that to me. So I can choose to go two routes. Like, if people are starting to get angry with me, I can make hardcore policies to make sure that even if they want to do that, they want to get rid of me, they want to JFK me, I can make it very difficult to do that. Police drones and tasers, wiretapping, you know, fun things like that. Clearly, we have some beautiful cabinet members. We picked... Clearly just models, everyone looking great. Beverly, damn. Diane, you're not terrifying at all. So most of the UK right now is very liberal and they like me. They like me a lot. We'll see about that. Then we have a lot of middle income, capitalists, and all of these bubbles out here are affecting what's going on in the left. So the people that hate me the most are the wealthy because we're taxing them a lot for state health services and income tax and stuff like that. Actually, parents really hate me. Why do parents hate me? Narcotics. <laughs> Ah, yes. Dude, I'm popular as f though. Also, retired people love me. Old people? The boomers like me? Let's see if we can change that. What the hell? Is this me? Am I in a wheelchair? Dude, did they just FDR me? So three months have gone by in my first term. My GDP went down. That doesn't make any sense. We have our first bill, corporate manslaughter. Fun. I chose to pass the bill with uh, this, this manslaughter thing. Okay, some groups don't like that. Oh no, we're facing a new problem in the UK. Street gangs. I never knew that was a thing in the UK. You guys have... Okay. Let's implement this campaign, healthy eating. Through cooking shows, advertisements, and specials in newspapers and other media, people are encouraged to, yeah, eat better, guys. Come on now. Damn, it's gonna cost a lot of money. Well, we're already a trillion dollars in debt. Who cares? Ouch. Uh, so immediately in my first couple months, our party just took a huge hit. Bam, we just tanked right there. The monarchy and the coalition of simps, furries, eight, and weebs are doing fine. Next turn, everything's all good. Nothing went down. Here are my polls. Hey, wait a second. So my party might not be doing good, but I myself am doing okay. I'm actually rising in the polls. One thing we gotta keep in mind is the demographics and how they change in in the country so like certain groups will go up over time the retired like me but you know obviously how much longer do they have to live <laughs> they might like me for now but they might not live long enough to see the next voter election cycle if there's one group that we can kind of screw over I guess it would be them here's a lot of our expenditures and it's literally almost all of it 28% is going into the state health services yeah we might need to cut that as I'm facing an obesity problem state pensions I mean we got to fix the deficit somehow right Nah, we don't got to fix it let's just pretend like it's not a real problem continue to accumulate debt just got to make sure I make people happy and get elected oh wow we also have uh that drinking abuse. I didn't know that was a problem. So we kind of want to get rid of all these red bubbles. These red bubbles are bad. Prime? Uncompetitive economy. A number of large corporations have expressed an interest in investing in our school system. Everything from free school books to entire sports centers. Whoa! Why would we say no to that? Our schools are places for kids to be educated, not to be brainwashed by- Oh no! Get Do you want to give us some free money? Let's go! Oh yeah. Y'all didn't like that? <laughs> Alright, GDP is going down. Unemployment just went way up. What the hell just happened? Credit rating downgrade. The Major international credit agency. Okay, that's not good. Illegal immigration now, Christ. Significant growth in illegal- Whoa. Uh-oh. Why did everything just hit the fan overnight? Oh, I just tanked in the polls. Hey, but I fixed obesity. What y'all complaining about? It's no longer pulsing. It's no longer pulsing. That's what matters. Currently, the groups that hate me the most is, uh... 
Well, actually, most are going down except for this Marxism Now group. Uh, they could be trying to take me out soon. Still minimal membership, though. That's good. Also, the Rural Alliance has 300,000 members. Gotta be careful with that. They're not radical yet, though. It's not too crazy. Oh, the global economy is tanking. That's why we're seeing problems. It's not my fault. That's the global. Don't worry about that. The globalists. Bruh, I know the perfect way to fix unemployment and also invade Ireland. Isn't that the goal here? Okay, this could be bad, but let's just go ahead and do it anyways. Oh, you know what? This is totally worth it because look, that liberal bar barely dips the higher I do. Well, I shouldn't do it too high, but for the most part, it does everything else that's good. We get more state employees from it. The Patriots like it. And unemployment goes down and they don't they hate me just slightly more also but that does cost money look at that we fixed it or we fixed some things unemployment went down hey that's easy that's all you had to do the british empire is back baby education went down okay that's fine our data shows that we will have a potentially bad situation street gangs on our hands if we don't act soon well the good thing about doing stuff about street gangs it also keeps me safe and it keeps me from being shot and that's key hey going back up oh cluster bombs um a contract to manufacture okay that's that's nice with other companies, other countries. Bruh, we need the economy. This is the, the I mean, the global situation, go for it. Sell, sell whatever you need to sell. We're, we're definitely gonna have a problem with our voter base here soon, I think. Our, our police force is like super, like not good. We should probably increase a little bit here. Keep crime down. We, we, uh, we're gonna take a little dent. Less people will be unemployed. What? Okay, not a good past three months. Credit rating downgraded again. Major donor abandons the party. Not the Republic Party of the United Kingdom. Dang, that global economy sucks. This is not even my fault. This is not fair. Oh, we can shift the bubbles around now. So we can do weighted. We can change the size by finances. Policy popularity. Oh, yeah. Influence. Oh, I like taxes. <laughs> <laughs> gives me more money and it can fix problems that I have in the country. We can try to fix some of the health issues by like lowering pollution. So maybe like a hybrid cars initiative. Basically, I'm going to spend money to incentivize people to get hybrid cars. Again, I'm not even worrying about our economic situation. We're just throwing, we're just doing whatever. Oh, all those taxes make the capitalists really despise me. Okay, my minister, Cody White, currently working as uh, minister of industry. He's displeased. Well, <laughs> you're fired. You're displeased? Get the f*** <laughs> out. I guess he doesn't like what we did with the something. Ouch. Tonight's headline, because I increased taxes, like because I did a junk food tax, Emily Gonzalez is not happy because her uh, her making candy industry, like her, her company to sell candy is doing worse now. Well, don't care. <laughs> I'm rising in the polls, baby. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, this game makes you such a horrible person. Why are there so many people in the hospital? I do think that the pollution probably an issue. Like the policies that I implement are gonna take like a couple turns to actually have an impact. So like that hybrid initiative is gonna take a little bit before it actually impacts the country. You know what? I'm gonna just take this month off or this three months off. We're gonna go golfing a bunch of times. Not gonna do anything political. Yeah, she's on our bike. Dude, we're turning the UK into the Dutch. We're using bikes now. Okay, we're now officially in a recession. At least the global economy is and debt is rising. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Dang, I just realized we are spending way more than that's than what's coming in. Does that matter? Okay, yeah, mansion tax. We're gonna do this. The, the rich already despise me. Pretty sure they're gonna be the first ones to try to come after me. Ah, fracking. Here we go. Let's go. Bring in that fracking. Wait. Oh, yeah. Environmentalists don't like that. Dude, we are on fire right now. We're on so much fire. Can't do anything wrong. Oh, political compass. Here we go. Uh, apparently, I am libertarian as f So, I guess this is supposed to map out all of the UK. Ah, nice. So, I need to try to push us towards that. <laughs> Yo, these patriots are not uh, liking me too much. Dude, health is up. Crime is down. Everything else is all right. One of my donors to the uh, People's Republic of the UK uh, really wants me to implement this policy. Well, it's not gonna cost me any money. If it's not gonna cost me money, go for it. Holy sh**, my cabinet hates me, I think. They're not producing much political capital. Dude, I'm reshuffling. I just fired my entire cabinet. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Yeah, we just purged the higher ups. So begins the red purge. Oh, this girl's got purple hair. I'm about to hire a bunch of people with like no experience. I'm pretty sure the news is going to be on me about like Reese, like just purging my stuff. A prominent member of the royal family has been accused of spending a suspicious amount of time with a convict. Oh, it's Jeffrey. This is being described at best as a poor judgment. Yo, I'm starting to get a little nervous. Dude, it's fine. Dude, it's fine. They were just going on a little vacation island stay. Oh, we also have a new uh, party, party donor. Luckily, I think the global economy is starting to rebound. That's going to make my job easier. We're going to allow the drilling. Who cares? The kids already have asthma. It's fine. It's not like it can get worse. <laughs> 
We might as well send the kids into the mines, working in the coal mines. That's always a good combination. That going down, that going up. Uh-oh, we might have the first people trying to go after me. Yep. Uh, the angels of heavenly justice. Scary. Well, we do have an organized crime problem anyways, so we should probably do something about that. Dude, yes. We need this as the UK. I don't really know what we're building the wall for. Oh, the Irish, that's right. Haha, <laughs> potato man. I don't feel like bending the knee and like uh, like making these people happy. It's only 126 members. All right, they're mad about a lot of things, actually. I'm sorry, I don't really know what else to do. You're gonna have to get over it because uh, I'm trying to win this election. Dude, if you're going too slow, let's start, put, let's start putting people in jail if you're going too slow. That's what I'm trying to implement. Oh, parents don't like that shit. They already didn't like me. And things still going down. Health is good though. I fixed that obesity thing. Toxic waste dump. I'm gonna go ahead and allow, again, the kids already have asthma. Go ahead and dump it in the river, it's fine. Dude, how do these people like me? I don't get it. You, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't. A female leader has been elected as the new head of the opposition. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, I got no chance now. Yo, I'm in trouble. Just look at me. Oh, no, not the purple-haired lady. Oh, God. Oh, God. I might have made a mistake. All right, it's time for some speeches because uh, our next election is finally coming up. Okay, so I just chose to keep self-employed and middle-class people happy. Here is the effects of my speech. So far, the environmentalists liked what I had to say, and uh, the middle class loved what I had to say, so that was a good speech. Okay, I'm very close to a debt crisis, because I haven't really been focusing on my economy. We're just trying to get reelected. that's all that matters. Oh, there was a royal marriage! Cool. So the People's Republic of the UK, very good, very active, lots of members. The monarchy, not doing so good. This coalition, not doing so good either. It's election time, here we go! Let's see, I'm glad I didn't get uh, taken out at least. Oh, I'm gonna whoop them, dude, I'm whooping them, baby! Yeah! Let's go! Kept the party people happy, kept the country happy. The economy's kind of in shambles, but that's fine. They all like me, except for the wealthy. High earnings went down, GDP overall went down under me, but uh, the environment went better, equality. Dude, this doesn't make any sense. I was a horrible person. The People's Republic of the United Kingdom has won again. Wow. Okay, this is pretty much how I ran my decision making. Fascinating. So there you go, UK. You know what you gotta do now. Clearly, I'm, I'm your man, so uh, whenever you're ready. Wait, will you let an American? I don't know if you'll let an American lead, but it's fine. I'll be over there. See ya. A big thanks to Douchebag in 2008. Garland, Land of Dark. Julius Dar. Cheese. Can't think of a name. Prime Minister Zephy. Peyton. Fusion. Drew, Wolf. this is your dad. I am leaving you. Manny, Manny, 74. Rolls Seatrick. My Deezer, 123. Every Diglett. time communism Mac. has been tried, Rats it has failed. Arian After Ten. Hours. Ten. Luxembourg. Scarlet King. Mayonnaise Incorporated. Seth A. Hipster Lama. Maxi G. Alfonso. 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 Alfonso.